Nisa, as a Nisa team, uh, bottom of the table with just eight points, and they're just one victory on the road this season. But conversely, LA Forest has yet to find a home victory in Nisa this season as well. So uh, a kind of a, a coming together, um, things could change. LA Forest is a fine night to, to get that first league home victory. Whereas for Flower City Union, 12 matches consecutive now unbeaten, or I'm sorry, not unbeaten. They haven't won a match, I should say winless, over 12 consecutive. Their last win coming May 14th at Maryland Bobcats against Maryland Bobcats, I should say. Uh, they beat the Bobcats 2-1 to one back then in May. So they haven't won a match since May. they got to be hungry tonight. Uh, you know, beautiful, beautiful setting for a victory. I think everybody's healthy coming off that 2-1 loss to, to San Diego Albion just a few days ago. So you know, let's see if they can put one in the back of the net and defend early. Yeah, and I, I, I think that's going to be the, the key issue here, right? We saw the lineup uh, earlier just a couple of seconds ago and see how uh, heavily de defensively focused they are. And, you know, and seeing the force throughout the season, too, they've been uh, very defensively focused as well and sort of just gathering up. I remember seeing a couple games uh, with almost seemed like they played with no forward. So it's going to be interesting to see here. The Hoff is back, like you mentioned. Uh, it's going to be a great addition for, for the force. But a game for both of these teams, obviously, who haven't had the best seasons uh, to go ahead and, and brag about, but a game like this could just go ahead and just turn your momentum uh, the opposite side. The LA Force is still playoff eligible. I think, yeah. according to the numbers right now, Flower City is not going to make the playoffs, but LA Force has got everything to play for still. They, they can still finish in that top six, and of course the league has changed from uh, an east and west table to now a, a single table, and so things are changing. LA Force has a lot to play for tonight. Yeah, and it's going to be as we see things get rolling here, then we're underway between this Nisa match between Flower City Union and the LA Force. As we mentioned earlier uh, in the broadcast, weather and uh, temperature is definitely dropping here, but it's a great one if you're out on, on the pitch and you're, you're enjoying yourself on a cool, breezy afternoon here to uh, Monday uh, soccer action here. Yeah, Monday Night Force Ball. Hashtag Monday Night Force Ball. We love it as we see things going and the force trying to get that kind of rust off, right, in, 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 in these first couple of minutes. And, and nothing helps other than getting uh, the first couple of passes going. Headed defensively here by the visiting team. Bouncing and controlled by Flower City. Trying to do a give and go. On the ball was Kranich. Still pushing forward. And leaves it off for the point. Here's a captain. Robert Williamson trying to go far side. Actually gives a pretty good ball and touched by no one and be a throw in for the force. Both teams just want to find a rhythm right now. It's super early in this game. Get those touches, get a feel, right? Get some movement, trying to understand what your teammates are doing. Of course, they've practiced plenty, right? But it's a different thing in game conditions where guys are in your face. Yeah, and especially after, uh, you know, a team like the Force who hasn't played in a, in a couple of weeks here, it definitely feels good to go ahead and get things uh, under your feet and get things going here. Lost to lose here. He's going to go all the way back to goalkeeper Michael Ortega. As we talk about trying to get things going, we see some in positions from Flower City as clearance doesn't go their way and the Force is able to go ahead and gain possession. Ball in the middle as we are in Beautiful LA Harbor College here in the South Bay. Uh, home game for the LA Force here and trying to go ahead and get the first win at home of the season. Golden hour right now, it's just beautiful out. Beautiful and fresh and if you're enjoying this one, somewhere that's not so fresh, go ahead and be jealous of Dennis and I here. <laughs> As we see a foul referee definitely on top of that one and has a couple of words to talk to Carlos Flores as we see Austin Kranick making his way back up. Yeah, new addition to LA Forest, Oof. Carlos Flores. Takes very little time to introduce himself to Austin Kranick. Number 79 out there, yeah, Flores. Introduce himself to, to Austin and to this game, and just what a, a, a strong slide there, and the referee on top of that one. Luckily, nothing else comes out of it, no injury and no cards. Ball's going to be played here, 50-50, recovered by Noah Kavanaugh. Well, still pressuring, the force recovering, clearing, looking at top for Hoffman, and it's going to be recovered by goalkeeper. 
Michael Ortega correctly with his feet and here comes the team from Flower City Flower City in those lavender and black kits with the white socks is that lavender or is that pink, Jose? Not lavender. Okay. I think it's lavender, I right? I think it's lavender. I like it, though. They're very different and unique. Obviously, the force with the classic black. So it's... Yeah. Yeah, the black and gold. Bob Friedland likes to say that that's where LAFC got their inspiration. For that's their, right. For their kids. And the force, obviously, on there and trying to go ahead and get things going early in the game four minutes in and like you mentioned Dennis right they're both teams just trying to go ahead and get a feel for the game early on yeah Clayton Toro a little push in the back there just saying hello good evening welcome to LA Harbor College yep having on top of this one see the Flower City sending numbers on top and the force trying to defend four minutes into this one and Kamana looks like he's going to get this going with the left foot ball on top and no problems there for the force goalkeeper easy peasy for Brandon Gomez it's probably the easiest ball he's going to get tonight and he kept things going quickly on with his Carlos Flores goes back and the force so far in the first four minutes I would say have had the most control and possession of the balls here and defensively they look solid Brandon that, Gomez. Brad. That's been their their go-to this season is that solid defensive back line. Although they don't have Seamus McLaughlin anymore. He's he's left the club. But the, the key components of that, Clayton Torr and Eric Viatoro, are there. Well, appear to be a foul. The referee says play on. And it seemed like it was a 50-50 ball, and the referee said keep going. Carlos well, Torres tracks yeah. back and wins the ball back. But right before that, the, the force had had a great long ball to <clears throat> it's an Alvarado. So, like you mentioned, it's going to be key to go ahead and see that connection between, you know, the defenders and to the forwards tonight to get things going for the force. And see how Carlos Flores kind of fits in that, that shape, right, that, yeah. that attack. Because we know Eder Guerrero and Edson Alvarado and Andrew Benitez can make things happen. And it's obvious Chandler Hoffman can get goals. Right? Can Carlos can Carlos Flores set some something up? You yeah. know, can he play a, a you know pulling the strings kind of piece? So far, six minutes in, and a lot of just hollering and chanting on on the pitch from from the players, but uh, no damage done so far, and obviously no no errors, which you like to see in a, in a game like very clean to start it off, and uh, a team that hasn't had that much rhythm uh, so far. The force looks great to start it off. Yeah, they look pretty comfortable so far. Ball played all the way back to goalkeeper Brandon Gomez. See if the wind plays any factor as the ball goes all the way. Out of bounds, throw in, and here comes Kavanaugh. Trying to get a quick restart here, does so. One, two, Flower City, Thor heading it away. And recover here by Guerrero. Here's Edson. Tries to give and go, recover it back, and finally controlled by the force. Here you go in a counter attack. It could be Edson Alvarado pushing forward, making the run here through. He finds him, cuts inside. Oh, it doesn't get just there as the ball gets tangled by Guerrero, but it was a great ball through by Alvarado. Great ball through. Yeah. Just got caught underneath Guerrero's feet. Quick restart here. Here's Villatoro. And he goes all the way to Oliveira. In the middle, here comes the force. Like you mentioned, seven minutes in. And it seems like the force have a handle on it here. And like we mentioned earlier in the broadcast too, right, the, the defensive posture of the Flower City Union is going to be interesting here tonight. They're rocking a four-man back line with two, two sitting in front, two mm -hmm. holding mids. Decisive ball, ball to here, Viatoro. Yeah, Viatoro finding it. Sends a one through ball and very great cleared defensively as we see a defender, I mean, a forward and a goalkeeper colliding there. Thankfully, nothing comes out of that one. Yeah, Hoffman collided with Ortega there. Both guys get up. Here's Oliveira. Switching the ball all the way, looking for ammo. Instead, it's Flower City able to go ahead and control this one. 
going further back. Ortega controlling. Wants no problems out of that one. Ammo with the nice. He would say it was just back. nothing but body, but <laughs> official says otherwise. Free kick here for for Flower City. We saw, we see that we we saw that 50-50 challenge there. We and earlier from Flores as well. So a physical game from the the four side to start this uh, this match here. Kavanaugh goes all the way back to Williamson, and he goes even further back to goalkeeper Ortega. So far, nine minutes in, and at least both keepers have been involved, but not so much with their hands, but with their feet. Hoffman goes pressure there. Kieran's passes the equator of the field. Thor fighting for it there, and it's going to be Flower City with the control. Here's Muller. Goes down, and referee blows a whistle for a foul. Flower City starting to find a little bit, of, a little bit more of the ball yeah. here. Starting from the back, though, goalkeeper... Possessing, holding, right, starting to find find the gaps, find balls that he can place in for his teammates. Uh, definitely looking a lot more comfortable on there, and it's obvious who they want on dead balls and who's had a lot of the action on the left hand side. And it's been the player you see on camera here, Kavanaugh. Trying to see if he gets restarted here with his left foot. Not asking for the distance there, but the referee's having a few words with players inside the box. A lot of pushing and tingling in there. And Kevin is going to get us restarted with his left foot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Flower City Union players looking to go ahead and get inside the box with uh, Michael Cunningham lingering outside in case there's any rebounds. Last time Kavanaugh sent a ball right in the Gomez's hands. That's what you want as a goalkeeper, right? Easy, get, get the feel of things. And once uh, that's going, you feel invincible. Ball put through here. Lingering on there. Headed by Williamson. Oh, and the shot goes just over the crossbar. But a great sequence of play here put through by Flower City Union in this dead ball. Williamson able to put his head on the ball. Set up his teammate nicely. Just an off-balance, half-chance shot that goes way wide. And there's opportunities here that uh, if you're an away team, you don't see that very often. So uh, opportunity squandered here. And luckily for the force, it's 0-0. Long ball here, looking for Hoffman. What a great move to get rid of a defender and just not the best of passes here by Dylan Evande. He did everything right, but the pass to go ahead and get these going for a counterattack. Here's Ammo, gonna get started over to Alvarado, chest is it back to him. And now back to Oliveira. Here's Thor pushing forward. Gonna get a player on him, looking for a long ball for Hoffman, who has a captain R-band today. And no problems here for Ortega. Williamson and Kavanaugh, two players who have been really active early on here for Flower City. Yeah, Williamson, the captain for Flower City tonight. Kavanaugh's been taking all the free kicks. And it looks like they've uh, got things rolling here on the near side in terms of getting things familiarity with the ball and touching well with one another so Flower City Union looking like after 11 minutes they've gotten a uh, pace of the game Kevin they've def definitely separated almost two teams right they're attacking for quartet and then their defensive six yeah and you'll see Kavanaugh come up and take the free kicks but he's a defender a little bit of a high kick Kranich wanted to call but yeah he would have gone to the four referee, would have called that one, but other than that, it's going to be a, a throw in for the force. 12 minutes in, nothing nothing between these two. Live from LA Harbor College. As Thor gives this one away, and it could be a counter attack here, but very well defended in the back by Villatoro. He goes all the way back to Brandon Gomez. Almost a costly error here for the force. Tor set up a hospital ball for Villatoro, but he was able to recover it. Villatoro, that is, saving Tor, who had then misplayed the, the next challenge. Here comes the force trying to push forward. It's obvious that the visiting team, it's you know, absorbing the, the pressure and the attack from the force, hoping to get a counter attack going. And so far, the force, other than that instant mistake with Thor, have been great on the, on, on on the ball. Yeah, all possessions so far from LA Force in this match. Gomez. 
on ball here. Here is Alvarado, steps on it. Finds Guerrero, and it seems like these two are having some connection here tonight, and hopefully they're able to exploit it. Villatoro connects here, goes back even further to Thor, and again to Brandon Gomez. We'll see, we see these passes kind of in the back end, not leading much too much, but it's kind of just having uh, the possession right now that the force are looking forward to here and getting these plays going, right? So you have possession, you're feeling good about yourself, and before you know it, you find yourself in the offense attacking um, mindset, and who knows, maybe breaking that 0-0 tie. They've won themselves a free kick here. Yeah. You know, and even like you mentioned, right, a couple of weeks without uh, any Nisa action play for the force, and Flower City, uh, Flower City just having that game a couple games ago uh, uh, down in San Diego, but it doesn't seem like it. It seems like the Force have kind of come up into play as well, and they have uh, an after-show mentality of the way they want to go ahead and play, and they're executing yeah, it. Yeah, Flower City, this is their fourth game in the last two weeks or so, so they're 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 warmed up. Yeah, they should be in in, in decent form. Whereas LA Force, you would think they would come in and make plays like that more often. Almost a bad giveaway there from Oliveira. Yeah. Thor just reacting very nicely there with a timely slide. Clears that one away and a throw in for Flower City. Wind picking up here in the South Bay. See how that affects both teams. And these long balls that are being played, most importantly. Ball still there. Cunningham looking for it. Kavanaugh chasing it. And it's going to be off of. Kevin off for a throw in for the LA Force. A little bit helter skelter at the moment between these two clubs. Still trying to find a footing now in the 16th minute. And it's obvious that it's being battled in the midfield and see who's gonna come off victorious is gonna be key there. Great cut here and turn by Thor finds Villatoro and here comes Flores. Give and go and Villatoro again here down the line and back again for Carlos Flores trying to look for a long ball. Should have probably gotten a lot shorter there and loses his possession. Here comes Flower City. Cut away and great stuff by Ammo. And here comes a counterattack for LA Force. It could be an opportunity here for the home team. On it against Guerrero. Opens up wide for Edson. Going to go ahead and look for a cross. Hoffman on it. Defender on him. Opens it up for Ammo. Still there. Back in the middle. Hoffman still on top and very well defended in the back by Kranich. Clearing that one away. He found Dylan and Fire City just decides to go ahead and clear that one away, but it looked like a great sequence play for the force there. Hoffman kind of lost the ball there for a minute before dishing off to um, Ammo, who's done a, a fantastic job out there on the left wing, yeah. providing space and strength for LA4 so far tonight. And if he definitely keeps going uh, and making those runs like he has tonight, uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see him with assists or two or maybe even a goal here as he's uh, uh, ventured to go ahead and join the attack. Not a long ball here looking for Flores and very well defended in the back by Cavanaugh. Here's Williamson. Finding Cunningham and here comes the Flower City Union. The ball put through here. Looks like he could be offsides. Lets the ball go all the way to Gomez and the referee decides not to go ahead and pick the flag up. Quick restart here looking for Ammo. Pushing forward. 17 minutes gone by. As a force past the equator of the field here. Here's Edson. He's pushing forward. Brandon had him if he wanted to. Making that run. Didn't see him. And he finds Guerrero. Back to Edson. And he forwards all the way back to Oliveira. Now Ammo. He's joined the attack. Andrew Benitez. Pushing forward. And all of Flower City Union just defending with the exception of one player on top. Yeah, Jay Lee is the only forward for them right now. Everybody else is behind the ball. Flores tries to go ahead and control that one. Actually keeps it still in bounds. Kavanaugh kind of trying to go ahead and cover that one so it could go for a goal kick. And here comes a counterattack from Flower City Union. Looking for Cunningham. Getting there first. Well, store and the referee says that one went out of bounds. Throw in for Flower City. That's a close one there, Dennis. Yeah, it was very, very, mm. very close there. Out right in the line there, the ball did. You know, even though it's been 0-0, entertaining. You know, it's been 
a game where both teams kind of been back and forth. Obviously, we haven't seen a shot on, on goal, but nonetheless, the, the play has been good and, and precise. We have some good up and down so far. A couple of good tackles. Great stuff here. Give and go. Still opportunity here in the box. Crossing to us. It could be the opportunity. One! Goal! Flower City Union. It's the away team opening things up. It is Ryan Curtis, number 82. A great sequence of play started by Austin Cranick here. Uh, individual play by him. They get a cross in, and it's one nothing. Not the cleanest of kicks, but it gets in the back of the net. Curtis, the beneficiary, just hovering around the back post. Didn't even get a clean mm -hmm. touch on it. And Gomez, not sure what his decision there, what he was trying to do, maybe save it with his feet, thought he could get there with his with his toe or something, instead of ra rather than trying to reach yeah. out and get, get to a glove. But needless to say, it's a goal, and Flower City one nothing right now. Yeah, it's got to feel like a bucket of cold water just thrown at you if you're the LA Force. They seem obviously you're the home team, kind of had control of the majority of the game, right? And just like that, Flower City comes at you, and it's one nothing. Man, yeah, Flower City not afraid to try and get forward, and they're finding a little bit of space. And Curtis just lurking at the back post, yeah. you know, just the beneficiary of a, of a ball all the way through. You know, obviously, it wasn't the cleanest of strikes, but the the I want the, the the more we took a look at that replay, it's just a nice strike from Curtis, knowing exactly what he was doing, where he wanted to do. Well, you mentioned he might have had some help there from Gomez. But here come the force on the opposite side. Edson gets inside. Might have been an extra touch. Puts in the middle. It could be a handball. It looked like a handball on that side. The referee says no in a corner kick. Edson didn't argue it as much as I thought he would have, but nonetheless, the force are attacking. Defender came sliding Oof. in. Yeah, it looked like he kind of left that hand right. Edson extended said it, there. Know, it was the ball hit his hand, which was laying on the floor. Referee says, no, it's just a corner. 20 minutes in and entertaining stuff so far as the away team, the visiting team from Rochester, upstate New York, Flower City Union up one nothing. Corner kick, short, still there. Shot by Oliveira, and it goes over the crossbar for a goal kick. Olivier just kind of flares his toe out at it, doesn't get much on it. But an outswinger on the corner. It looked like somebody got ahead to it. Couldn't see quite who that was, but Olivera tried to get a touch on it, kind of just flares it wide. Now, with Dennis Pope coach, coaching goggles on, uh, you're up one nothing if you're the visiting team. You obviously had a lot of focus defensively to start the game. You just defend back and protect the lead, or do you push forward and kind of just try to go get that second one? Well, I think we talked about this in the pregame. They're set up to defend tonight, right, with six defenders on the starting lineup. So they were looking for that early goal so that they can, you know, posture themselves correctly, and I think they're in the position that they want to be in right now. Yeah, it's going to be interesting here for the next 25 minutes into closing the half. And, you know, as long as the force keep pushing forward and they don't make any errors in the back there, it's open for them to go ahead and get this tie and take the game, right? It's still open for Oh, anybody. yeah, there's still too much time left in this game to, to call it over at any point. But Chandler Hoffman's still up top, still looking fresh, just needs one opportunity. He's that kind of guy. There's Gomez restarting here. Here's the force after conceding the goal. See how they're able to go ahead and react. Yeah, we mentioned earlier they're still looking for their first home uh, win of the season. And uh, Flower City, after 12 games, uh, not knowing the fruits of victory might get so here. And so far tonight, it looks like that, but still plenty to go. And both these teams thirsty for victory. Ammo crossing it here, looking for Flores, headed away. Still loose. Battled and recovered by Flower City. Trying to look for a long ball, however, it lands in defeat of a f the force. Going to get a restart here. And another long ball, for, unfortunately, for Los Angeles. It's going to find no one but the goalkeeper, Michael Ortega. <laughs> 23 minutes in, and just not the way you wanted things to go of your head coach, Bruno Martinez. Uh, here in uh, LA Harbor College. Nope, this is not what they envisioned for Monday Night Force Ball. 
Still though, 60 plus minutes left to play. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot still to, to happen in this match. And it's, you obviously never want to go ahead and be down on any score sheet, but if you just stick to the same game plan that they had, and it seems like they are doing so here, uh, I wouldn't be surprised to go ahead and see a, a four score any minute now. Yeah, you maintain the possession, you can throw numbers forward and still defend that four attacking against four or against Flower City. So they'll have to change something tactically, right, to try and combat that because they have the Dylan Evande just sitting in front of the back line, kind of falling in. And sometimes they have four, sometimes they have five on that back line. Yeah, now it seems like they're all back out there. Great ball through here. Looking for Guerrero still there. Tries to find the heel to Alvarado. Doesn't get there, but it was a great ball. Referee's flag stays down. That was a very, very Oof. nice ball from Vitoro. More of that here tonight. And uh, could open up the floodgates here for the force and get uh, goals in the back of the net. Ammo. Great give and go. The balls, however, is going to be played all the way back to goalkeeper Ortega. Uh, but a great sequence of play there for the force. Still looking to find that, that breakthrough, right? They're find, trying to break that, that pin that separates the lock. But more of that, right? We talked about the connections between the defenders and, and those forwards. And we saw that one there with Villatoro sending just an amazing mm -hmm. ball looking for Hoffman. Uh, so more of that. And... We're going to see uh, uh, some goals hit the back of the net here for the four soon. And it may take a ball, you know, of that kind of quality to break down Fl Flower City tonight. They're compact in defense. Williamson's doing a good job communicating with the back line, getting them to move. They're going to be tough to break down tonight, I think. Ball headed. Finally down. Controlled here by Flower City. Top of the ball is Cunningham. Cuts inside for his right foot. Takes a shot off the crossbar. Rebound. Goal. 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 From the visiting Flowers City Union is Jay Yun Lee's putting that one into the back of the net. It's 2 nothing. Half a goal there for Cunningham because of the strike that hits the post. And he just puts it in the back of the net. Cunningham with a great strike off the post. Jay Lee there to clean up the mess. And Gomez, you know, hands, head in his hands. Just... You know, lamenting the fact that all of a sudden it's 2 0, yeah. and they're, you know, having barely halfway through the first half here. Uh, a strange turn of events at home here for LA Force, still looking for their first home victory of the season. And just heads up play from Lee to go ahead and just react there. And we saw uh, Yonik Pineda just not reacting, caught flat footed there, uh, ball watching, if you will, and just. Lee just get it, able to go ahead and get it behind them and, and put that one back in a 2-0 uh, with 27 minutes in here in the first half. That's Lee's second goal for Flower City Union in his 18th appearance overall. Great start here from the visiting team. It seems as if, you know, just when the force are, 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 are on top of things that seem to have control of, of the game, Flower City comes out of nowhere with mistakes like this and capitalizing. Looking for Cunningham. Villatoro able to go ahead and control this one and opens it up for Flores. Controls with his right. Tries to cut inside and with his left. And finds again Benitez. Yeah, the normally compact LA Force. You know, finding some, some cracks tonight in that armor. Some chinks in that armor. Yeah, they're getting beat here. I mean, first couple of minutes, it seems like they were solid defensively. And just like that, uh, Flower City comes up and they're up to no. But obviously, as we know in soccer, 2 0 is just the worst score you could have. And that lead could evaporate and turn into a, a 3 2 deficit right away. Yeah, that's the most dangerous score yep. in this game. One goal change everything. Here's Flores being pressured by Cunningham, elbowed, if you will, as well. And Referee says foul. The ball seems like it was still rolling. Yeah, and definitely calls that one back. 
Cunningham, Cunningham, Cunningham though, brimming with confidence right yeah. now, having hit the post with this shot to set up that second goal, feeling like he can get away with anything. Yeah, it seems the whole Flower City as well, right? The whole team seems like they've kind of jolted themselves into a, a different level of play, and that's what a, a getting a lead will do to you here. So the best thing the Forest could do is just come right back at them and, and cut into that deficit. It's the old axiom that goals change games. Yep. Right, Flower City's an di entirely different team than they were the first 15 minutes right now. Oliveira still going here. Guerrero hands it off. Edson picks his head up, takes a shot from there! A bounce, it seems like he had goalie deflected it, but the referee says it's going to be a goal kick, but a great shot outside by Alvarado. Goalkeeper did not get a touch there, referee says Ortega. Sliding to his left, but was able to keep his hands off it as the ball went wide. Great shot and exactly what the doctor ordered for the force. And like we've been mentioning it throughout the broadcast, right? More of those plays and uh, more opportunities like that. And the force will be in a good shape here to get just back into it. Yeah, you got to take those shots, right? Yeah. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Here's Flower City, great stuff here in Perconic, and even better defending here for the forcing. Here comes Flores. Mines again to Thor and in the middle. Oliveira tries to go ahead and get these going on the opposite side, and he finds ammo. Opens it up even further. Here comes the force. 29 minutes, 30 minutes in, puts a cross in, hopping in there. It could be the opportunity one, and here's a shot, a goal! Goal! By the LA Force, it is Edgar Guerrero able to go ahead and put that one back. But a great sequence of play by the team overall. What a great play. I thought Flores might have done a little extra pass here, but he knew exactly what oh he was yeah, doing. Oh, yeah, sets up Guerrero Oof. perfectly there with the little back heel, little setup. I don't know what you call that exactly, but it was very, very nice from Flores to get involved here with that attack for LA Force. All of a sudden, Force now on the front foot again. That's just what they needed. Right. Yeah, and you mentioned it earlier on. You wanted to see what Flores could bring into this uh, uh, offensive sequence of the force, and he delivered just there. But what a great ball put to Flores. And he had the presence of mind to see uh, Guerrero making that run in, in behind him. Leaves it off there, and Guerrero, all you have to do is there is just hit it with power on target and, and make sure that gets into the back of the and, net. And tremendous build-up play yep. right, the yep. whole way through, starting from the back, from Cyro switching to the left-hand side, to Amo, to the cross, to Chandler, right, getting a shot that was blocked. Guerrero again. Yeah, and everything like that that you just mentioned, they've been fighting for it, which has been unfortunate for the force to be down to now, which I think uh, hasn't been deservedly so. So they're back into it 2-1, and like we mentioned, just 2-1 two, two is just the, the worst score that you could have, right, 2-0. Getting a little scrappy out there. Yeah. Amo getting physical against Austin Kranick. Kranich's earned a couple fouls now, and the referee wants to have a word with Daniel Amo, oh, and wants to show him a yellow card. One, two, three, I mean, this is probably like the first foul I can remember coming from Amo, but it must have been a, 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 a collective one, two, three, so right, because referee actually will do that too. They'll, they'll call out, hey, as a team, the team. I'm yep. calling you all out, so. It could have been that, and unfortunately for Amo, he takes the, the bad, bad side of that. Yeah, it's the yellow card. I don't see the persistent infringement there against Amo individually, right? Maybe, like you said, it was a team thing. and It was a, it was a very physical tackle challenge. He was grappling with him. So the play itself was probably worthy of a yellow. Yeah, and after the first couple of minutes where we saw, you know, Flores make that just uh, aggressive tackle and, and the, the, the physicalness of the, of the game, it, it sort of has slowed down. It's been more about the actual run of play, which is great from both teams and, and exactly these kind of plays that we've seen from, from the force. Via Toro, Flores pointing as if put the ball here to my right foot. Does so here, cuts inside to his left, back to his right. Going to cross it in, far side, all the way looking for uh, Edson and doesn't get there. Alvarado putting the pressure on there and cleared away by Flower City. Amo able to go ahead and duck that one through, and here comes the force once again. Thor opens it up for Alvarado. Alvarado been very involved in this game so far here tonight. 
just great movement right now yeah. from LA Forest. I'm having fun watching watching them move the ball around. Here comes Flower City with Kranich on the counter attack leading here. Leaving it to Cunningham just a little too short as Thor are able to go ahead and get their first clear that one away. And 34 minutes into this one, three goals so far here tonight. An entertaining one between these two teams. That's what we love. We love yeah. goals. We've got three of them already here in the first half, and who knows how many more could happen. Cunningham controlling. The ball seems to have gone over the line, and it does so here for a goal kick. But it seems as if, you know, af after the, the going down to zero, uh, the composure from the team overall has been great from the force, right? Just able to go ahead and battle right back into this. Thing. They had good composure after the first goal, too. But the second goal still happened. So I think it's, it's more about... Uh, staying sharp, right? Staying focused, right? Not not turning off, not switching off. Trying to stay in the moment right now, LA Force. Great give and go from Ammo, and here comes once again Guerrero. Picks his heads up, looks for his target, crosses it, and Williamson able to go ahead and get that one over to Miller. Here comes the Force again. Great cut by Alvarado. Still touches again, looking for Oliveira. Finds the feet of Benitez and he goes even further for uh, Oliveira. Here's Ammo. Picks his head up. However, he goes for Yannick Pineda. Trying to look great ball here for Hoffman. Referee, however, picks his flags up for an offside. But it's all been all LA Force. Right now, yep, it's all LA Force. Pineda trying to pick out that ball for Hoffman. Almost found him. Love to see that that view. I don't think we have a replay on that though. But it's been consistent, right? What we've seen throughout the first half is just those through balls, those long balls towards Hoffman, and and you know, so even though like we just saw right now, some of them have been a little too long for 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 the forward, but they've been great action, great stuff that that we like to see, and and a, a something we haven't seen from the force throughout the season. And that's practice timing. Mm -hmm. Right, and you got to get that in game situations to get it right, and it's coming. I think Panetta's got the right idea. They're trying to get Hoffman on the run, right? Get him into a space where he's one v one versus the keeper, which is his favorite place to be. So you you throw up those opportunities a few times a game, you know, and see if something sticks. Yeah, Villatoro has had a great cross with uh, Hoffman that the referee flag stayed down, so it's been effective, and it's. It's, it's been demonstrated here tonight. Loma's able to go ahead and get away from that one. The Force looking to go ahead and get away from danger. Muller able to clear that one in. Ball stays in bounds. Pineda clears it. And here comes Flower City once again. However, Villatoro gets to the ball first, finds Oliveira. He picks his head up, tries to go for a long ball. Instead, finds uh, a short looking for Hoffman. Williamson all over that one. Now he's displaced. It could be a counter attack with the. Flower City having less defenders, but a great defensive slide in the end. Uh, it keeps that one from being a 1v1. I think that was Grant Michaels there with the, the last stitch tackle. Yeah, great stuff there as Michaels able to go ahead and let that one go all the way back to the goalkeeper. He opens himself up, and 37 minutes have gone by. Just like that here, folks, in this Nisa match between Flower City Union and the Los Angeles Force. Ortega now controlling it, trying to go ahead and get some assistance by his wingers. Williamson shows up, but he prefers to go ahead and look for a long ball. Amo fighting for that one, jumps, uh, screams at the referee that he got laid out by a Flower City player, but the referee says play on. Definitely was a victim of a push in the back, and he wanted... Equal equal call there. He received a yellow card for, for a tackle, and he's just looking for a little bit of fairness from the referee. And those 50-50 uh, balls where a defender goes up like that and gets a little push ends up being just dangerous for for the, the player coming down. Luckily for the force and for Ammo, nothing happening there. Who is making the overlapping run. The referee, however, picks the flag up for an offsides. Second offside call against the LA Force here in the last couple minutes. They're challenging, right? They're pushing yeah. their back line. So that's a positive right now for LA Force as we 
head into halftime almost here. Well, they have absolutely been looking for for those through balls, those long balls, even before they've been down on the score line when it was still uh, new. No, it's it's something that uh, obviously Coach Martinez has been pushing out throughout the practice, and it's been effective in the sense of getting them uh, numbers forward. Referee picks his flag up on the far side here as the player was coming back and offsides and possession back to the force. That was easy for the force. I just had to wait for the player to come offside. 38 minutes in, it's 2-1. Uh, we kind of talked about, uh, you know, rust getting off that rustiness from the force. Uh, haven't seen much of that so far, other than obviously being down on the scoreline. But it seems like they 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 were able to go ahead and, and react the right way. And the physical challenge here. Yeah. Another card from the referee. This one for Guerrero. Ed, Ed or Guerrero seeing the Amarillo. Yeah, he go on the score sheet for him and a yellow card as well. He wanted to go ahead and get up and get things going quickly. Referee says not so fast and two yellow cards for the four so far in the the first half. All he needs is an assist. I mean full day's work. Yeah. <laughs> Not the type of hat trick you would want with a yellow, but it means you're, you're, you're active in the play, right? Yeah. Uh, you're physically defending. Okay, but I'm putting this one in, heading away defensively by the force. Uh, still finding the feet of Kavanaugh. Here comes Flower City Union. Ball with Michaels. Kavanaugh making the overlap. However, he finds Lee. Again to Kavanaugh. He's going to look for a cross and just didn't get uh, the appropriate footing on there. Uh, goes all the way out of bounds and a restart here for the force. I think that's a, a slice. Sliced it out over the goal line, left footed. The intentions were there and it was just not exactly what the execution he wanted. It goes Thor in the force, 2 1, entertaining first half, 40 minutes gone by. Live from LA Harbor College, I am Jose Duran bringing you all of tonight's action alongside Dennis Pope here via, via TV Emax. Uh, great stuff here between these two. Ammo controlling, going even further back. Here's Spineda, finds Benitez, again to Thor. Trying to find Flores and goes back to Benitez. It's clear now. Obviously, they're just, and by they, I mean the, the Flower City Union just absorbing just this attack. And when it gets something going on the counter, here's Flores. Vix with his right, gonna put a crossing with his left, looking like a great one. The wind seems to have hold that one up, and it was looking for Hoffman. Yeah, they refused to sit down that one and just kind of wanted Took to keep a while sailing. There, huh? Yeah. Here's Ammo putting that one in. Williamson heading that one and recovered again by Alvarado. He's been active so far here in the first 45 minutes. Edson clearing that one away and just kicks that one as the ball's going to get it restarted here from the far side by the visiting team. 2-1, great score for them so far still. On top of this one, they are pretty much have control of the game in the sense of they're up 2-1. Two early goals from Flower City. Now they're just trying to ward off LA Forest, but LA Forest has the majority of the possession in this game by, a, I would say, a large margin. And these early goals kind of are hit or miss, right? Sometimes you're not expecting to go ahead and have such a early lead early on. You're expecting it to be physical, even be down on, on occasions. But when you do take the lead early on, it kind of just turns your game plan away and what to do as we see uh, ammo down there and it appears to be Lee as well and hopefully nothing too bad. Them both are holding their legs here. It's a, clearly a clash of knees perhaps. Amo is still down on the turf. It's good to see Lee at least up as we take a look at the replay here. It seemed like they were going 50-50, huh? Somebody must have stepped on somebody. Obviously, I almost don't want to take the, the worst part of that one. He's sitting up now, but it definitely was a very, very fast challenge. Hey, they're pleading as Flower City are howling up and discussing, you know, what they want to do, how they want to go ahead and approach this 
closing off the half, right? Because it's, it's extremely important for them to get out of here for the first 45 minutes with the lead still. They're saying, do we want to put 10 behind the ball or <laughs> all 11 behind the ball? Just put it, stack everyone in towards the goal, huh? Defend like heck. And they have. And, and they've done so very well nicely throughout uh, the first 45 in terms of, you know, creating offensive opportunities from defensive sequences, right? Um, counter attacks or just mistakes that the force have made. And, and so far they have them up 2-1 here. And very few also offensive yeah. forays. I think they've scored on their two of three times down inside that attacking third. Oh, that's a good return for yeah. the attack so far. Effectiveness. Williamson here starting this one. Long ball looking for Kavanaugh. Heads it up toward Lee. Controls it. Kavanaugh trying to bring this one down. Back to Lee. And the point. Ball finds the foot of Evande. Looking for Lee. Alvarado on this one. And just... Decides the safest route and clears that one out. When in doubt. Yeah, it's cleared. Clear that one out. Kavanaugh starting on it. Still loose. And the force able to go ahead and clear that one away out of danger. Looking up for Hoffman, who has been active, but hasn't had the most clearest of looks on, on a goal tonight. Yeah, it's been an interesting battle between Hoffman and, and the two center backs here, Grant Michaels and... Robert Williamson. They've mostly had, held him in check. Yeah. Long ball here from Ortega. Goes over the cross line and a restart here getting started by the forces via Toro. 45 minutes completed and waiting to see exactly how much of added time the referee must have given I would say assuming two or three to be safe uh, he definitely blows the whistle here because it's a head-on-head -head collision and the force players down that's the worst yeah hoping it's nothing too serious here but either way it's a, a dead ball and a first 45 minutes that were entertaining to say the least three goals uh, for for us here and it's looking like we're gonna uh, see some more in the second half. Yeah, I definitely think there's more, more goals coming in this yeah. one. The Force have been completely active after going down 2-1 two, two and uh, uh, mistakes that could happen as a team that's looking for obviously to tie a game and take a lead is putting too much numbers forward and becoming vulnerable in the back. Hopefully it doesn't happen here in, in the second half of, of this one. Yeah, they've held at least I'd say 60% of the possession in this match, but with all that possession, where's the final end product? They found one. They're going to need at least one more here to get something out of tonight. I think they want to try and get three points, though. You you got to, you have to win games at home, right? You have yeah. to win your games at home and hope to, to draw or win on the road. And they're looking still to try and make the playoffs here. There's still a playoff spot on, on the line here for them. So they need to take three points, find a way to get more goals here tonight and in the second half. And I love what Abel did here. He started clowning out, calling his players on towards the middle of the field in terms of, hey, let's huddle up, touch again, touch upon a couple of things before the half. But it's mostly the leadership. And he's been active so far tonight on, on the wing, defensively, physically, and offensively as well. So he's been on, and it's shown on the offensive side uh, for the force. The LA force could use a little bit of leadership yeah. out on the field. Um, you know, they, they're without now Seamus McLaughlin, who's been their captain. And they're needing probably someone to fill that hole. Daniel Amo can, you know, provide, you know, some leadership qualities here. You know, being that he is just an, uh, uh, technically an amateur player on this roster. But, you know, if he has that quality about him yeah. that, that makes other players follow him, then, you know, then he, he becomes that guy. You know, some guys don't want to take that responsibility, and some guys accept that responsibility, and some guys just are that responsibility. You know, they are that guy. You know, so it'd be interesting to see that, what that dynamic really is inside the LA Force locker room right now. But, you know, Daniel Amo clearly, you know, has a, a physicalness about him that play, players respect. Yeah, keep playing the way he's been playing tonight, and 
and being vocal the way he has as well. And, you know, eventually things fall into place. Players will follow you. And before you know it, you're, you're a huge vocal presence on the locker room, like you mentioned. Here's Ortega. Finally get things going here. Three minutes have gone by here of added time in to the first 45. Plus whatever the referee wants to add on as we saw a fourth player go down there. Here comes Kavanaugh. Puts a cross in through with his left door. Able to go ahead and get a foot in there. And the force able to control it here. Ball played by from Villatoro. Who clears this one out of danger. Looking for Hoffman. Williamson able to go ahead and get a header on there. Flores on top. And it's Evande able to go ahead and clear this one into the feet of the point. Evande flying it over yeah. Flores. And Flores is looking up saying, what was that? <laughs> Great stuff here from Flower City into the last couple of minutes. Game able to go ahead and get possession and control of these last couple of minutes and see if they get a sequence going here. Kavanaugh all the way back to the point. It's a good little spell of possession here from Flower yeah. City. Haven't seen too much of this from them tonight. Kevin Go here stepping on top of that one, trying to go back to Lee. Ammo all over it, still over it. And referee finally blows his whistle and calls a free kick. Restart and very well far off restart. Referee says, let's keep this going. Flores. Good touches right now from Ellie Forrest. Forrest back again here. Oliveira sees Alvarado making that run. Almost has just the perfect pass. Kavanaugh able to get there. Villatoro controls this one and quick restart here with Flores. Step on this one with his right, goes to his left, still stepping on it, and he finds Oliveira. Villatoro there if he wants him. And a great through ball and hit it. And as I said that, the referee blows his whistle. It's halftime here from LA Harbor College. An entertaining long first half here, Dennis. Two to one in favor of Flower City Union. Quick thoughts here to end the half. Uh, impressed by Flower City's willingness to come out and try and get some goals right early on so that they have something to defend. And here's the first one here from Curtis lurking at the back post. And then here's Cunningham. He's going to hit the post here with his shot. What a great take. And Lee, again, yeah. lurking back post. You know, they're finding that space on that back post and nobody's defending there. So I don't know who that, that left back should have been, Daniel Amo or or Yannick Panetta, or whoever that was that's supposed to be there that was not. But then LA Force came back, and they got one back. So they go in the locker room with a little bit of momentum, right, and they everything to play for in the second half now. Yeah, it's all there for them to go ahead and come back and, and take this one, and we'll see in the next 45 minutes if they're able to do so. But in the meantime, players will go ahead and take a break here. We'll take a break as well and come back with all of the actions in the second half. In the halftime, it is Flower City Union 2, the LA Force 1.
as we are back live from LA Harbor College uh, which should be a great entertaining second half between Flower City Union who is currently up two goals to one against the LA Force I am Jose Duran alongside Dennis Pope bringing you all of the action Great first half, Dennis. Uh, what do you expect here in the next 45 minutes? Uh, I think LA Force is definitely going to try and score a goal here, maybe two. And, and Flower City Union is going to defend like heck, right? They need to try and find a way to get three points out of the night, try and make this uh, road trip that they're on right now, this West Coast road trip that are on fruitful for them. So, yeah, that three points a night would make a, a, a massive difference to how they're feeling about themselves here late in the season. They only have two games left on their schedule after this one. So a win here, um, you know, would make a, a road trip a lot better, a lot, you know, a lot better feeling for Flower City. L.A. Force, they got to win a game at home this season, man. I mean, in all, in all seriousness, yeah. you know, it's almost September and they haven't won a match at home. Um, you know, that's got to be really sticking in their, in their crawl right now for Bob Friedland and, and Bruno Martinez in this group, right? They find a way, find a way to get three points, whatever it takes. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's, I have no doubt in my mind, that's kind of what's been uh, uh, pushed forward for from head coach Martinez in, in the locker room, right? And and they're right there to go ahead and, and, and grasp that. They they were uh, a team that, that seemed to have started with the majority of the possession throughout the game as well. They got a couple of conceded goals, uh, 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 two goals in the beginning of the half. They bounced back and controlled the majority of the second half, so... It's up there for them to go ahead and, and grasp this one and, and see if they can tie this one up. They got to stay, stay switched on in, in critical moments. Um, you know, those, those two goals that they gave up, they were just lax defending there at the back post, and Flyer City players were able to sneak in and get rebounds, right? So they, they can't let that happen. That has to be a, a key talking point at halftime, yeah. right? Mark your guys, back post, um, you know, and certainly don't allow any further goals, any more damage here if you're L.A. Force and, you know, get the ball try and find Chandler Hoffman on the run. It's going to be fun now. We get ammo here near side, so we're going to go ahead and get a kind of clear look uh, of his movements here in the second half. Flores starting things off. Alvarado fits, uh, switches to the far side. Long ball here, and it's going to find the hands of Ortega. Two one in favor of Flower City, and if you're the force, you're you're still have about 45 minutes to to turn this one around, but turn the season around, right? We're still saying that uh, mathematically, there's still possibilities here for the force. So great things to point out, and uh, great to see you go ahead and see what the force is going to bring here in the second half. Yeah, in order to make the playoffs, they have to start winning games, right, and, and taking points, and that starts tonight with the, the second half of their season. They still have a bunch of games left this season. They've only played, what, 11 so far. Um, so there's still plenty to play for. They have four or five more games in September. You know, so the calendar gets thick here for LA Force. Uh, and nothing would be better than to start out that stretch with three points, get a little momentum going forward. Yeah, absolutely. And they've, they've, they've looked solid, right? I think they've, they've obviously had a couple mistakes here in the back. But overall, uh, they seem like they've been the team within control, but you know, in soccer and anywhere else, it doesn't matter if you have control of the possession or the most. It's whoever has control of the scoreboard. Moments like this, when the ball is going to be flying into the area, Miller puts that one in. It's still loose there. Turns around, and it goes just wide. But just the time and presence that uh, it looked like it was Kranich had to go ahead and control and turn around all the time of his life. Yeah, nobody, nobody was stepping on him there. No one was trying to force that ball out and he had the wherewithal to try and get a turn on he was just wide of the post Oof. the force dodge and get lucky there uh, but we've seen uh, Flower City be be a threat on dead ball occasions and a throw in in a location like that is just as good as a cross and, and a dead ball free kick and that's maybe where LA Force might miss Seamus McMa McLaughlin the most a little bit of hardness toughness right willing to get stuck in there in the back you know and you know make something happen yeah. there defensively rather than wait, you know, and be counteractive or reactive to the situation, right? You defend proactively. Villatoro going further back here with Thor. That's Pineda near side and he finds it. Here's Amo. 
Controls it, gives it away. Seems like he had gotten fouled, stays on his feet. Ball's gonna find the feet of goalkeeper Gomez. Quick restart here for the force. Astor is able to go ahead and control these things and three minutes have gone by here so far in the second half. Still a two to one lead in favor of the visiting team from upstate New York in Rochester. It's an Alvarado opening things up too. A very active throw so far here in the second half. Flores controlling via Toro making the overlapping run. On top of him is Cavanaugh. Cross put in here, headed, and not the cleanest of headers there by Hoffman. As Michael Ortega says, thank you very much, my friend, for not heading that one in the back of the net. Very, very Oof. near opportunity there for Chandler Hoffman, who might have been shielded a little bit there by the Flower City defender, not gotten a clean look on his header. It was a little bit of a glancing shot from Hoffman, and lucky for the goalkeeper, right, that it kind of just ends up in his hands. Didn't have to move, didn't have to dive, just kind of ended up in his bread basket. Yeah, but another great cross from Villatoro. He, we've seen another long ball, uh, a great pass from him earlier in this one, so he's active and, and putting great balls for, for his forwards. Flores able to get away, and he calls, causes a foul, and the referee uh, says it's a free kick fall for, for the force. Kavanaugh disagrees, but both players were trying to swim around each other. Yeah, Flores just beat him, huh? Beat him. Both ended up on the turf. There's the replay again. And Flores played the ball past Kavanaugh and tried to move past him, but Kavanaugh impeded his progress, we'll say. Is Thor 50 minutes gone by. Pineda controlling, finds ammo. Quick find for Edson. Ball still loose and ammo. Great run here on the near side. It's gonna get inside the box, gets taken down, and it's gonna have to be it has to be a court here. By Williamson, and he gets a yellow very well deservingly, but a great run here from Daniel Ammo causes that one. And if not for that foul, I think he goes on uh, 1v1 and, and possibly puts this one back in the net. And sweet little give and go here from LA Force. Yeah. Hoffman to lay it off for Amo. Williams gets his elbow Oof. high up in Amo's cheek. Definitely pre prevents a 1v1 situation. Tactical there from Williams. Necessary. But an exciting opportunity right here from LA Force in a good position. Yeah, on top of that one is one of the goal scorers of tonight, Edgar Guerrero, and it's an Alvarado as well, uh, discussing what they want to do if they want to go ahead and go directly at goal or have Alvarado possibly put a cross in to, to looking for a header with one, two, three, four, five, six force players in the box. It's going to be Guerrero putting this one in dangerously inside there. Not a common look here in, in, in pass from a free kick dead ball, but it almost pays off for the force. That was an interesting choice, and it almost worked out. Yeah, it looked nice here. Other than the Union being completely on top of that one, Guerrero sliding it, and Kranich here all over. Here's Curtis. Another one of the goal scorers here. Turns around, trying to find Kranich, doesn't do so. The ball stays behind Alvarado, doesn't chase it. And I'm all over defensively there. Alvarado sliding on it. On top of that one is Muller, still on top of it. Falls down, Alvarado all over him, and it's gonna be a free kick dead ball in favor of Flower City. A little bit sloppy there from Alvarado. Yeah. From when the pass was given to him from Ammo, didn't really kind of do anything to fight for that one in. There's a, a slide there and just ends up being all over Muller and free kick opportunity here for Flower City and Kavanaugh. A little bit uh, unwilling defender. They didn't want, want to get into the hurly-burly there, but forced to. Kavanaugh puts this one in, headed away from danger by ammo and boss still in favor of Flower City. Lee, all over over him is Villa Toro, still there, gets taken down, and it could be a counterattack from the force. Here's Edson Alvarado, finds Guerrero, they have that good connection. It has Hoffman if he wants him, puts him through with the, uh, the outside part of his foot. Hoffman not able to get that one in there. Floor is all over it, still on his feet, and on top of that one. Opportunity here for the force, still not yet squandered. A great but ball the surprise is gone. Yeah, great, great ball. 
into Hoffman. Hoffman just kind of lost it. Maybe that's his rust showing. Yeah. It wasn't just ready for that one because he just puts a great ball with the outside part of his foot, possibly expecting it a bit earlier than he should have gone there. But nonetheless, here come the force. Flores all over Kavanaugh, puts the cross in. Williamson heads it in. Not the best of clearances, still loose there. Uh, Alvarado able to go ahead and control this one. Curtis all over him. Still Alvarado. Goes down Curtis. Still Alvarado. Puts a header in. It's still loose there. Opportunity! It goes just wide! That was it. That was what LA Force was oh, looking for. Oh, Guerrero looking for that one. And he was obviously still looking for his second one of the night. It goes just wide. I could have sworn I saw the one in the back. Ooh, game of inches right now. Oh. That one just barely, barely, barely wide of that left post. Look at the cross from oh. Edson Alvarado. Uh, Ortega comes out, punches nothing but air. Williamson misses it. It ends up finding the uh, feet of Guerrero, who goes wide just by inches. Yeah, paper, wow. paper thin margins there on the post. But great stuff. Great stuff from, from the force to start it off. And it, it's clear that they want to go ahead and get this one tied, tied up. De definitely a signal of intent from LA Force there. Here's Flores. He's been active so far here in this second half and in the game so far. We touched upon on how active he was going to be uh, tonight, and he's been uh, active uh, to say the less. He's provided an interesting setup piece. You know, he's that the connective ability. You know, to, to set up with little flicks and touches yeah. and stuff has been has been exciting on this game. Setting up the overlapping runs from Vitor as we see a run here. Flag stays down. Hoffman puts the ball in the middle. And it goes just wide again. Opportunity gone by there for the force. And for Hoffman, almost seemed that he could have gone straight at goal. Decides to open stuff himself up. Puts the ball in the middle. And the shot goes just wide. Unselfish from Hoffman. And he's Oof. probably wishing he had that one back. But great setup. Yeah. Right, that was terrific and unselfish play. That's the kind of stuff that you want to see from your number nine. Unless he's going to be selfish and take it, a great setup pass, and that's back to back, just tight missing that left post for LA Force right now. They're they're really showing their their want. They're right on this there. Match. Yep. They're right there. They're knocking and an opportunity that just went by the left post uh, defender there by goalkeeper Michael Ortega. Uh, a great shot by Carlos Flores. We were just talking about how he's active. He's been here tonight. And it's been 10 minutes of non-stop soccer uh, from the force uh, getting on top. Here's Amo. Restarting here quickly. That's Craig Bonankin. He made his way into the game here in the yeah. second half. I believe he's in for Cyro Oliveira. It's an Alvarado. Controls it with his left. Steps over it. Still controls it. Gets it way through to... Amo tries to go back to him, doesn't find him, and he, the ball finds his way back to Daniel. Long ball here, looking for Hoffman, chests it down, and given away by the Flower City Union. Here comes Boniek. Great through ball, goes through the feet of Curtis. He has no idea how that just happened, but great stuff there by Pineda. Long ball here, looking for Villa Toro. He's been active as well here tonight great slide there by Thor gets there in time and right before uh, Kranich does their referee says play on it was a physical challenge to say the least but clean on, on our eyes here Thor sliding in big time challenge here Oof. clean though through the ball yeah through the ball physical and you know I think Kranich that players that you appreciate those kinds of slides right you know that it's not a, a dirty tackle it's a clean uh, soccer slide and the force able to go ahead and retain possession here but being a soccer match he's still trying to earn a call yeah and they're gonna sell it as much as you can there as he did and now he's back up 100 percent floor is still there stopping touching and further back Bonanken and here comes Pineda Edson pushing forward. Great through ball here. Opportunity for the force. Lost there. Flores gets in front of this one. Still loose there. Referee doesn't say. 
it's a PK. He picks up his whistle and he says throw in. And so I have to agree there. Yep, tell Flores to get up. Great stuff from Flores, though. He's just able to go ahead and beat Kavanaugh slightly. Here's Villatoro. Able to cross this one in. One-time shot. Great stuff from Edson Alvarado. Still fighting for it there. And very well defended in the back from Flower City. Alvarado smelling a little bit of blood in the yeah. water. Here's Amo. Picks his heads up. Looking for op options. Finds Guerrero. The ball still stays in bounds. Not the cleanest of slags there as Curtis. From behind even. Says hello. You know, and, and Guerrero there. And Curtis are having a couple of words there. And what do you think uh, Guerrero's telling Curtis there, Dennis? Uh, you like it like that, huh? <laughs> All right, then. We still got 30 minutes. It's definitely not, they're not discussing what they're going to bring each other for Christmas or what's what they're going to bring for, for Thanksgiving meal, which, by the way, it's right around the corner, it seems uh, like. <laughs> you're already talking about Thanksgiving. <laughs> Holy moly. That's Let's just get through the summer. Let's get through yeah. uh, Halloween first. Yeah, it's barely spooky season, right? <laughs> here comes the force. Well, it feels like it here with this kind of weather. You know, it's, yeah. it's a very cool weather here in, in the South Bay, folks. Uh, if you hear it in the background, the wind has uh, settled down, but it's it's definitely felt about twenty to what twenty degrees cooler than anywhere else. It's a nice else. cool evening here tonight, yeah. But we're down close to the beach, within a couple of miles of the ocean here. So, but yeah, I think we're being lied to because again, it's supposed to be super hot here yeah. in Southern California this week, and tonight it's really mild. Well, we'll take it here before this heat wave. As Bonan Ken still keeps pushing, tries to send a through ball for Hoffman, and Williamson able to control that one and cut that one off. He tries to get a, a counterattack going, falls down himself, and gets the ball back to Miller, who goes further back to Ortega. Pressure by Hoffman. Ortega goes all the way, tries to go and find Kranich, and here comes Craig. Bonan Ken tries to find a running Guerrero, and again to Ortega. It's all LA Force right now. Yeah. Yvonne Day looks for Muller. Touches it and one by here by the Force. Hoffman finds Edson, Amo, and now Pineda. Long ball, great ball put through here from Villatoro. He does his stuff, gets away from one defender, puts the ball through the middle, and it cleared away by Williamson. Great sequence of play, though, there by the Force. <laughs> Tremendous 40-yard switch of field there. Pinpoint pass all the way out to Villatoro, who just under-hit his cross into the area. Great stuff from Pineda. Great stuff from Villatoro as we see a substitute here from the force. This is Flores coming off for Aldo Quintanilla, number 23. Larger body than Flores. Great stuff from from Flores though tonight was an essential part of uh, tonight's squad and he showed it on the offensive side. Got an assist in his debut. Hoffman controlling. Still there. Lost in a throw in for the force. Quick restart. Thor and the ball's going to go further back to Bon and Ken and to Ammo. Controlling with his left. Tries to find Guerrero. However, it finds the feet of the force. Great give and go. Ivande doing his stuff. He still has control of the ball and finally gives it away. The Flower City Union attacking up to opportunity, overlapping run from Kavanaugh. Lee picks his head up, might strike it from there. Finally picks his, takes a shot, and gets just completely under that one for a goal kick. Sixty-three minutes gone by here so far in this one. Three goal affair between Flower City Union and the LA Force. Great stuff so far. I mean, we haven't seen a goal in the second half, but entertaining as we see a substitution here for the f uh, Flower City. We got a couple subs coming on here for Flower City. Marcus Micheletti and Andrea Pregoni. Oh, 
also entering the game earlier was Arion Sobers Asua, number nine for Flower City. A couple of substitutions as we see. A bicycle attempt. Bicycle attempt pass. Uh, Williamson error. Great ball put through here for Hoffman. And sliding in the end there. Last minute for a corner kick. But great sequence of play here for the for the force in error in the back by Williamson. A little bit of panic defending there from Grant Michaels. LA Force got a corner kick now. One, two, three, four, five. Force players in the box. Amo outside in case of any rebound that might be coming his way. Guerrero seems like he's going to go ahead and put the cross back in. Headed it and still in play. Three, four, three of the players on top of him. Amo, who is that? Flores came out of nowhere and it's going to be a throw in for Flower City. Sixty-five minutes gone by here in this one. A game the force desperately looking for to get in the mix of the playoff conversations and to get their first win at home. Great give and go here. And cut before by a Flower City defender. Boss still loose there. And here comes Ivande. Still trying to get away from one. Gets away from uh, Pineda and here comes Flower City. Cavanaugh on the far side. Tries to get inside the box. Running out of options. And he goes further back to Pregoni. Ivande again. Hard touch. Looking along for Cavanaugh. And he, he's able to go ahead and control it. Pregoni opens himself up in the far side. Finds Lee. Back to Ivande. But now to uh, Pregoni. Has options inside. Decides to go to one of the goal scorers here. It's within Lee. And another goal scorer, Curtis. Curtis Cavanaugh. He's been involved tonight in the mix of things defensively and offensively. And as I say that, he causes a free kick fall, an opportunity for uh, the visiting team to make things 3-1. Uh, yeah, Cavanaugh's definitely been in the mix tonight, earning fouls, taking fouls, giving fouls. Yeah. He's earned a free kick here. About 20, 27-ish yards. Maybe a little further. And just how you know important it was in the first initial minutes of this one, the physical play and just the rustiness of it, the, this takes into effect towards the latter part of the match too, right? As we've seen, uh, the force kind of just sparkle down and not see the same spark that they had to start the second half. As you insert substitutions as well, right, yeah. you lose a little bit of that continuity that you started to build up in the first half. Ariane. Now you got you know different defenders in the back. You got different mids, and they're all trying to feed Chandler Hoffman. Find a way. Yeah. Curtis controlling ammo on top of him. Give and go with Lee. Back to Curtis and clear last second away from Dora just to go ahead and. Make sure nothing happens, but assertive there in the back line to get that one out. 67 minutes here, about 23 minutes left, plus whatever the referee wants to add on. Still plenty of time for the force to go ahead and tie this one up. Yeah, force defensively not wanting to give anything away in the back. They know what a, just a slight slip you know, can do. So if you have a chance to clear out, that's your job. Kranich. And Kavanaugh on top of this one. See if it's going to be Kavanaugh. He picks his head up, hands up. Ball lost in the middle. Declared headed defensively, it appeared. But the referee says this is going to be a goal kick. In swinger. Got onto the head of a teammate. Got a goal kick. Quick restart here from Brandon Gomez. Morning Ken goes back further to Thor. And here comes the force trying to get things going with about 22 minutes left here in the second half. Ammo. 
Gets in Alvarado has been very active as well in this one. A lot, of, a lot of possession in the back in the second half from LA Force. A couple of decent chances, right? We've had really good shots yeah. down here earlier on, but nothing in the last about 10 minutes or so. But here's something perhaps. Flores, Via Toro, puts the cross in, looking for Hoffman. It's got to be a better cross than that one, as Hoffman's been completely locked down in the back uh, by the Flower City Union defense. Yep, double teamed most of the night. Aldo Quintanilla goes down. The referee doesn't allow the force to get a quick restart. Instead, it's going to be a free kick dead ball with an opportunity for the force to go ahead and possibly get this one in the back of the net. This is an opportunity right now. Ball about the 20-yard line, which means this is about almost 29, 30 yards away yep. from goal. A nice in-swinger here into the mix. Anything can happen. Five force players in the box with Flores lingering outside of it in case of any rebounding efforts. Edson on top of this one. Great cross in. Looking for a head of the force and instead finds a foot clearance from a Flower City Union player. Kind of controls. Finds Arian, who hands it off to Lee. Kranich with a little bit of a seal dribble there. See it bounce off his head a couple times consecutively. That's a seal dribble. Yeah, controlling that one. And a player who, you know, obviously he's not in, in the score sheet, but he's been involved in a very positive way for the visiting team. As part of that attacking four up front for Flower City tonight, I would say Kranich's kind of been that, uh, you know, ball chaser, ball winner, you know, for them trying to keep possession in the four check. So to speak. Yeah. Here come the force in the middle of the field trying to create something from the defense. Pineda has been very effective as well on the defensive side for great stuff from Ammo. Picks his head up in the cross and a goal! Goal! So the LA Force, Quintanilla, the sub able to come in and a great stuff from the Force and a great cross by Aldo. It puts that one into the back of the net and just like that, it's 2-2. Two two. A super sub, Ooh. Aldo Quintanilla coming in and getting a goal, but Daniel Amo did all the hard yeah. work there on the left flank, beating his man with a great touch and firing in that cross. Aldo, all he had to do was get a touch. Keeper was, you know, leaning the other way already. You know, easy work for Aldo. And all the work was done by Daniel Amo there. He deserves an assist and a half. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to go back to that and give him all the credit that is due there as we see the ref pick the flag up for an offside. It's everything that he's done throughout the whole game, right? The movements, the runs, the defending, the leadership that we saw early on as well. But just that, right? It's the 70th minute. A lot of the times players' legs give out to make those kinds of uh, movements. But he's been able to time those today. And the cross that he put in, just spectacular. And thankfully for the force and their fans, that one is able to go ahead and just get in that post. It seems like that post is going to be an issue so far uh, tonight as we've seen balls just go skimming through those. But it's 2-2. And it comes for more. Here's Ammo. Leaving the ball again here for Aldo Quintanilla. What if he strikes it from there, decides to go ahead and opens it up for Villatoro. He's going to cross it all the way through. Lost there. Controlled by Edson Alvarado. He picks his head up once again. Cuts into his right. What if he picks his cross? However, it goes again to Amo. Back again. And now they're going for the third. And then it's there. They're, they're, they can smell blood in the water. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They feel it right now. Another great ball from Amo. Yeah. Outside part of his foot. Edson Alvarado crossing it in. Headed away. And Amo able to control that one and again. And now he's just completely feeling himself and has complete confidence. Well, oh, player down from Ford or for Flower City holding his knee. And not so sure what, what ended up happening there. That's another little goals and lets the officials know, hey, make sure you keep up with the time in terms of adding uh, this, this waste of time here in, in, in the end. 
Prince Arian Sobers Asua, who came in as a substitute for Flower City here in the second half, down holding his knee after what looked like a non-contact yeah. type issue. I mean, whether or not uh, it, it, it was a contact issue or not, what he's doing now is just icing kind of the game, right? I feel like Flower City Union uh, did ha hasn't had an answer throughout the whole second half. It's been all LA Force. They were able to go ahead and get this to two, and with 15 minutes left here in the game, it's right up for the Force to go ahead and grab this one and take the lead. Yep, the Flower City is holding on for dear life here. Already a little early for, for a little games and shit, but here's, <laughs> here's the assist from Amo. What a great move. And Aldo didn't even get a clean touch on it, right? Just came flying in trying to get any piece of it because that's all it would take to get it over the line there. And sure enough, we have a 2-2 ball game here. 74th minute. And referee's going to have to ask Orion Sobers Asua here to take a step off the field since the game was stopped for him. It's After only, the goal. Only fair. Love the emotion from Hoffman. You know, these players are obviously giving it their all on on the field and they, they want to go ahead and, and, and change things up. They know the opportunity that's there to switch their season completely uh, after this one and it's up for them to go ahead and grab that one here with 15 minutes left. It's on the table right now for LA's, LA Force to try and get three points right now. You know, and they need it so desperately to try and work their way up the table a little bit. And it looks like number nine, Arian Sobers Asu is gonna come off. Be, re be replaced here by Giancarlo Canas Jarquin. Well, I had that pronunciation. We'll go with Giancarlo, number 10, here at Flowers City Union. I mean, this helped as if like a, a breather and a sort of way to go ahead and catch up with their head coaches here and see what the game plan is for both the teams. We know what the game plan is for Flower City, which is defend, defend, defend. And even more so now here with this game tie here at two. They need to get anything out of this game if you're Flower City, right? You have to find a way to get something out of this, right? You still want to try and find a goal. There's still 15 minutes left in this game. Yeah. Both teams want to find a goal. But for Flower City, you cannot allow another goal, right? That would be disastrous. Great slide here from Pregoni, sealing the way. Goes down. Kranik, he gets up not so happy. Has a couple of words to exchange there with Bon and Ken, and the referee sees Ammo still down. Uh, I think Ammo puts the ball ahead of himself a little too further there. Uh, gets away from him, and uh, a great slide from the Flower City Union defender and gets that one away from him. He put himself in a vulnerable position right out of the timeout. And so he went from kind of being a little cold there on the sideline, walking around, to all of a sudden have to fly into this challenge. And just the coldness of it could hurt, you know, regardless yeah. of what what was done. But, yeah, it looked like he's in, a, in some pain, writhing around a little bit, trying to find his way to his feet. Yeah, hopefully it's nothing too, too bad, and he's able to go ahead and just shake it off. But the way he's pounding onto to the turf doesn't look look like it. Because uh, he's had a great game. Mm -hmm. He's had a great game, and he's a player that's uh, been growing throughout the whole season. And just the, the assist that we saw him deliver, uh, I'll be ashamed if he sees an injury here towards the, the, the tail end of the season. He was turning in a, a man of the match performance yeah. tonight. So it's difficult to, to see what happens, but here's his. Look at that. Just puts the defender on ice skates there. And the way he made him dance and. Just the perfect cross there for Aldo to go ahead and, like you mentioned, it wasn't the nicest, uh, like, touches there, but just enough to get on the ball and put that one into Doesn't the Doesn't have back. to be pretty. Just has no. to get over the line. All right, but all eyes right now on, on Daniel Amo. He's been a key figure in this LA Force lineup tonight. Yeah, no, he doesn't seem like he got his way to his feet, but now he's yeah. right back down. This is not looking good for LA Force. Yeah, we took a look at the replay when we did, and it seemed like it was a clean uh, clearance of the ball there. But either way, Ammo takes the the worst part of it, and uh, he comes up hobbling. Let's so take a look here. That yeah, ball's a little out in front. The slide tackle comes in from Pergoni and just takes Ammo out. Ammo was not prepared for that, and it came a little bit from the behind and from the side. Nothing nothing untoward about it, but perhaps didn't at that 
pace, right? Didn't see it coming. Right? That's tough. That's yeah, tough for Amo. You see Thor trying to be in assistance there, but he tough as he as you get him, right? Doesn't want to go ahead and and get it. Um, Says, "Where's the magic spray?" <sighs> yeah, and yeah, that's upsetting. It's it's definitely not something you want to see any player go through, but a player like Amo and just the the the, the type of gameplay that he's had tonight. It's unfortunate. He's given the fourth official the the what for. Kavanaugh trying to go ahead and put a ball through here. Brandon Gomez all over that one. And here come the force on the counter attack. It could be a great one if they get on top of this one. Here's Flores on the far side. Tries to go ahead and get on top of one defender. Over stepping over the ball. And fortunate enough for him is still there for the force. All over him was uh, Mitchell's. Michaels, excuse me, and great defending from the uh, City Union. Here's Edson. Alvarado still with the ball. Here's Spineda. A little bit of high pressure right now from Flower City. Yeah. Trying to win the ball. Trying to get a through ball here, and very well done by Williamson. Here's Giancarlo. Able to put a ball through in front for Curtis, looking for Lee. It's going to find the feet of. Guerrero, one of our goal scorers here, who goes even further back for it with Brandon Gomez. Gomez, back to Guerrero. See if anyone decides to show up here. Usually it would be the spot where Amo would have been at, as we see definitely the, yeah, the Guerrero, gap there. Guerrero tracking back, trying to cover for Amo right now. It looks like Alexander Ramos, number three, is going to enter the match right now for Daniel Amo at that left back spot. And the referee, I mean, that sub couldn't come in f uh, fast enough, right? You're 10 minutes into the game. Definitely don't want to be a player down due to injury. So trying to get it, him warmed up and as, in there as soon as possible. Ramos says hello to the game and to everyone tuned in so far here tonight. 80 minutes gone by, 2-2 the score. It was still time for both of these teams to, to get one in the back of the net. Long ball here looking for Edson. Excuse me, Guerrero, way too long, and it's going to be a throw in for Flower City. LA Force pressing a little bit right now, knowing their time's not on their side. Got to get a goal here for LA Force. And for Flower City, doesn't matter if you don't score again as so long as they don't score again. Yeah. Right? Possibly escape here with a point after being up two goals to no. Here's Lee. Still battling. Ramos all over him. And great stuff from Alexander. Throw in here for Flower City Union. And Lee's been a handful for LA Force defenders tonight. Quick, sharp movements. Almost had a goal there. One, it was one of his shots that just went wide of the post. Right. Had it. Yvonne, they still look, looking for it. Giancarlo goes down, and a foul going to be a yellow card here given to... Clayton Tor coming yeah. in with an American football-style challenge. And we have a couple of injured players. Referees are... Oh, a little bit of extracurriculars there. Kavanaugh. And Kranick. Kranick's been vocal throughout the whole game and physically uh, active as well. So, but good thing we see here, Evande hugging it over your Toro. Everyone's on the same page as we take a look at the replay here. Yeah. yeah. Strong, strong challenge from I mean, a lot of times you say uh, he's playing the ball, right? I think definitely we could say that he was playing the player. Uh, referee waiting for Thor to go ahead and make his way to his feet to, to show him that yellow card. It's very, very kind of the referee to wait. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I always wonder too that right, referees waiting for them to just give them the card. The way, right, right. <laughs> right. It's more about the presentation at this yeah, point than yep. it is the actual infraction. But some referees like it. And I'm just eager to see about the presentation, see how exciting he gets to. Let's see it. Oh, oh, there it is. Mm. You got to show it right to his face. Yeah. You, know? you got to make sure that he recognizes that he's received the, <laughs> the caution. Either way, here, great opportunity for Kavanaugh and Flower City to, uh, again, get in, get in front of this one, right? Yeah, this is a chance. This is an opportunity for them. A little bit of a distance away from the goal, so they're going to have to put something into the mix here to make something happen. 
But crazy things happen in front of the yeah. goal. Ball's bouncing around. We, they already scored a couple early, you know, on some miscues and some defensive blunders from LA Forest. So they're hoping for more of the same on this one. Yeah, and right here, you just, if you're the Forest, you don't want to get caught flat footed, right? So on your toes, uh, aware of everything, right? Because obviously, what they want to try to go and do here is put a cross in for a header. So be attentive of those flick backs that might end up in the far post. As we see, uh, looks like Thor making his way out of, of this one. Yeah, I had to get got to get checked out. Yeah, Kavanaugh starting this one for post, still loose there, cleared it away. Not the nicest of clearance, but just enough. And here comes uh, the Los Angeles Force, Aldo Quintanilla stepping on that one. Uh, great ball would have been through here for Ramos. We could have had something going, cleared away defensively by the Union. And it's going to be a throw-in for the Force, and they're knocking. Tor comes on and plays that ball ahead to Quintanilla. Who's looking for Ramos? Just a little bit under hit. 77's going to make his way in. Eduardo De Faria for the force. That's Lee coming off. Putting a good shift for tonight for Flower City. Yeah. Union, yeah. And making his way in is Andre Diaz. Uh, another sub, Eduardo De Faria. 77 for LA Force coming in as well. Ramos on top of this one. Going to get us restarted here. Rigoni all over. They're still there, still going, crossing in, and great defending there by Flower City Union and off a defender of the force and the throw in for the visiting team. Time ticking on this one. Now looking at Tania, was able to go ahead and get inside the box, but not able to get a cross in. 85 minutes gone by. Five minutes plus whatever the referee wants to add on. Uh, we've had a couple of minutes gone uh, due to injury here. So I'm assuming anywhere between three to four minutes. Yeah, we'll see some stoppage time for sure. Here's Guerrero. Still going. Hoffman has it off. The Faria was on it. Finds Aldo. He goes even further back with Pineda. Good across it. Looking for Villatoro. And... Michael Ortega able to go ahead and get this one, but I'm not upset at that cross, at that that long ball, right? They've been looking for that one throughout the whole game, and it's uh, uh, something that's been involved in their game plan. Yeah, send it back in. It's part of the, the offensive attack. You know, you get guys trying to fade away from the goal. You send one quick back into the back post. It's a tactic. Yeah, and Williamson just giving that ball away there, and not something uh, they want to see in the last couple of minutes as. As much possession as they can have will get them out of here with at least a point. But mistakes like those, and they will cost you. Gomez coming all the way forward to play that yeah. sweeper keeper. Long ball looking for Alvarado. Finds Guerrero, and here comes Ramos. Gets in front of that one. Yeah, it seems like he had gotten the player's leg first. Head coach not happy there of Forest City Union, but... Absolutely uh, got the, the player first. Let's, let's take a look at the replay here. Well, Flower City coach Colton Bly asking why, but Ramos oh, had yeah. clearly had the ball past him. It was unfairly bodied away. This is just straight gamesmanship yeah. from Flower City. And Ryan Curtis is going to get a yellow, and we hear a very vocal uh, Flower City Union bench there. That's what you like to see. Yeah. It's You're into the game. You want to get out of here with a positive result. And, and you're not happy with the call, even though you, you're, it's, it's gone, not gone your way. Right. And you're doing everything you can to, to legally waste time. Yeah. Right. And sometimes you cross the line. On top of this one is Edson Alvarado. I'm going to put a cross in looking with his left foot. One, two, three, four, five. Force players in the box. Eight in total. Huddling. Looking for a goal. Edson Alvarado's hands up. Back down. Crossing, looking for the far side, doesn't find anyone. It's not the best of best of cross. It looked like it hit uh, the hand. Andre Andre Diaz, yeah, he brought it down with his arm, some somehow, some way, but referee didn't see it, didn't like it. Yeah, let's play on an opportunity. Flag does go up here offsides. Toro struggling to find his feet there on the far touch line. 
Yeah, we saw somebody go down on the far side for the force as well. They are on outside of the, the field, which benefits the gameplay, but not so much the force if you're trying to go ahead and get things restarted. Is it via total? Yeah, I think he's been all over the all game over. Tonight. Yeah, yep. great defending, great crosses, great balls being put through as well. And uh, it seems like towards the end of the, the 90 minutes, probably the physicality is playing a toll on him. It's been a physical yeah. match tonight. Brandon Gomez. And we'll restart it once again here. Long ball here, finding absolutely no one from the force. Court, Curtis controls and opens it up. Giving it away. Here comes Ramos. Aldo. Quintanilla. Controlling, still on top of it, still all over it, still stepping over, and finally gets a foul called. And Giancarlo is just kicking that one as far as he can, and not happy with the with the call from the officials. There's one, two, three fouls. Yeah. Pick your poison. Which one did you want to call? It's an Alvarado going to get us restarted once again here. Need a better ball here from, from Edson than we did uh, almost from the identical spot. A little more direct toward goal to the spot here. That's yeah, better. Cross put in here. Hanged in the air from what it seemed like an eternity. Diaz able to go ahead and control that one. Ball finds again to uh, Edson. Cuts inside, gets away from one defender, still going. The ball still, and then it gets tangled on. And it seems like tired legs out there for Edson. Stepped on the ball, lost control. Rannick looking for a long ball. Brandon Gomez, he would go ahead and anticipate this one very cleanly. 90 minutes gone by, plus whatever the referee wants to add on. Seems like he put his hands up for additional time. I'm not wrong, it seems like I have called it about four minutes. Yeah, we don't have a, a board here. No. The fourth official doesn't have a board. Here's Aldo controlling. Paragoni all over him. Tries to find Edson Alvarado with the through ball. And very well in the back by Grant Michaels. Just shielding that one for Ortega. They're going to need one or two more passes right inside that attacking third. I think everybody's a little too tired at this point to run on to any through balls. Yeah. It's a little more FIFA tactic than real life. Here's Giancarlo, opens it up for Boniek, excuse me, for Kavanaugh. Back to Giancarlo, Williamson on top of that one. No mistakes from Flower City if they could avoid him. Bergoni gives this one away, and here comes the force. Off of Ramos appears, and it's going to be a throw in for Flower City Union. Micheletti is one of those players with the the no shin guards look. Tiny socks. Still going. Giancarlo taking a shot. Deflected. It's still there for Diaz. Tries to get away from one. Uh, Bop put through here. Oh, what a cross by Kavanaugh. But very well defended. And here comes Ivande. Still there. Diaz. Opportunity. Steps over it. Still there. Great defended in the back by, I believe, Ospinera. And here comes the force for the counterattack. Finds Aldo if he finds him. And he hands Quintanilla. Stepping on it. Looking for Hoffman. A greater ball would have been there because Hoffman was completely onside. And in space. You yeah. Play that ball on the ground. A little anxious there through the air. Williamson looking here. Flag goes up as Kranich was completely offside. And smartly enough from Gomez, he's going to go into where the lineman is step, stepped on. And <laughs> yeah, he's not happy now the lineman is going back a mm. few yards. But the offside is where the lineman is, is uh, it's on the field and where the flag's raised. Nonetheless, two minutes gone by here in added time. Time is ticking and it appears to be one of the last opportunities of the game here for the force. And yeah, they're not going to get many more. Big ball in from Gomez. Yeah, doesn't find absolutely nobody. Thor finding that. Heads it, still on it. Goes wide for Edson. Overlapping run from Ramos. 
Alexander able to go ahead and control this one. Still gets away from one. He's going to get across and deflect it and stays in bounds. Great stuff from uh, Ortega. Able to cover before it crosses the goal line. Kill a little bit more time. Last couple of seconds here in this one. Long ball here. Chest it down. Controlled by Curtis. Here comes Flower City. Still going. On the last line. Leaves to get seems to get a a push there. The referee says it was nothing but a 50-50 ball and play on. <laughs> referee wagged his finger at him. Get things moving once again. Here comes the force. One of the last opportunities here for the home team. Still there. Opportunity for the force. Guerrero, the shot! Oh, goes just wide! Oh, that was it. That was it. Was it Quintanilla? I think it was 23 Quintanilla. Yeah, it was Quintanilla. He's able to go ahead and just put his hands in his head. He had the second one of the night in his tally. Great shot. It goes just wide. Right idea. Oof. Right, that was the, the best idea. It just executed a hair incorrectly. Ball played back in. Seems like the referee is going to allow us to go into the 95th minute. Four minutes have gone by here. Through ball. Deflected off of Kavanaugh. And it's going to be a throw in for the force. Oh, that was it. I feel like that was the opportunity the force were looking for here to go 3-2. But the referee says one more play. Pineda. Long ball looking for Edson, the ball has gone out of bounds. It's going to be a throw-in for Flower City Union. And Flower City's in no hurry to take this. No, absolutely not. Quintanilla, though, you got to bury that. Yeah. You got to get bury that or, or just put it towards goal. Whether the goalie's going to yeah, block it or it. not. As we hear the final whistle, 95 minutes have gone by here. A four-goal affair between the Los Angeles Force and Flower City Union, live from uh, LA.